guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we're in tiki's kitchen and i'm going to be sharing a recipe with you it's actually not my recipe so to say it's my sister's recipe she makes the best pie ever and i learned from the best so i thought why not share with all of you so that we all can become the best so let's get started so basically this is all what you're going to be needing you need flour sugar butter milk baking powder, salt, meats, seasoning, nutmeg, white pepper, eggs, green spices, chopped potatoes, diced onions, and carrots. So first, I put the meat on a pot, throw in the onions and potatoes, some of the green spice as well white pepper seasoning and salt to your taste add some more seasoning to it yeah then basically you let that simmer in low temperature i don't put any oil because yeah the meat is going to produce some oil and you don't need it being too oily when you're filling it into the pie. So I just like distribute it evenly in the pot. Let it cook on low heat. And we're ready to mix the pie while it's cooking. When it comes to the pie, I'm going to be using 500 grams of flour. I leave alone and I don't like making too much food and saving in the fridge. Which we eventually get bad. So 500 grams of flour. I add 250 grams of butter, unsalted butter, half a sachet of baking powder, some salt so it doesn't have a bland taste, some sugar to neutralize the salt taste, and I mix. So, yeah, let's mix it up. You guys should excuse my twisted apron. I really don't use it often. I don't yet have an, an iron in this house. Yeah, it took so long for me to make another video in my kitchen because I moved. I moved to a new city and had to find a house, build a kitchen. So yeah, you people are welcome into my kitchen. See that consistency? What you're aiming for is basically this, this grainy, this grainy nature of the flour. It's not supposed to, to be free, like it's supposed to form some grains, granulates. And I'm still supposed to buy a few things in this house, like a proper bowl. So next I'm going to mix it up with one large egg. If you have small eggs, you can use one and a half. I'm using this because the egg is relatively large. next to come in is milk so the milk is basically supposed to bring everything together into one whole consistency it's already relatively soft because of the butter and the egg so we're going to add the milk to just bind everything together so you want to be careful when you're going in with milk because you don't want to give too much we don't want to put in too much and then have it to be too soft so yeah Going with the milk, I used a very small cup and I didn't even put like a full cup, it was like just small quantity. Now it's time to mix it all up. It's better to put in a little quantity and add some more later on and then to put in too much and then 
at four, you know, because we want the pie to be very soft, creamy, and not hard. The more butter you have, the softer it's going to be. The more liquid you have, the harder. So be very careful with the quantity of milk you put in. I almost forgot nutmeg, so I'm going to add some in my hands for flavor. And I'm going to mix it through. You can see it's coming together nicely, forming a solid consistency. And what we're aiming for here is less stickiness in your hands. You want it to have one consistency and you want it to not stick in your palms the way it was sticking when you had just the eggs and the butter. So as you can see, it's coming together nicely. I don't even think I'll need to add some flour or so because the consistency seems really good. We just need to mix through for it to be homogeneous. You know, for everything to just sit properly. I was just lucky with my milk. You see, if I would have put a little bit more, um, it would have been soft now and I would have had to add some flour to balance up the consistency, but that's not a problem. Just, you don't want to be putting in too much flour than needed at the end of the day. Because as I said, the more flour you have, the harder the consistency of the pie at the end of the day. So you see, so the difference from the finger I used to, the fingers I used to mixing and the ones I used before mixing, you still have some stickiness here, but now everything is well mixed up together. Yeah, just the right consistency. <laughs> Let's slap it off. So this is what the end product of the batter looks like. As you can see, it's not sticky in the bowl or on my fingers. Now let's go back to the meat and check it up. The meat seems to have cooked well. And the potatoes too. So I'm just going to add um, the carrots and the green spices and mix it all up. So let's mix it up. So just let it on the fire to cool off while the carrot cooks a little. So now it's time to roll it up. Let's roll it up, girl. Where's my pin? This, and um, I'll be doing that on my table because my kitchen is so small. I don't really have much of a working surface, but this will do. So the first thing first, I want to put some flour on, of course, wipe the table. You want it clean. And then I got to put some flour on the table so it doesn't stick on the table when I'm rolling. So now I'm done rolling. It's thick, but not too, it's thin, but not too thin. And in order to get, um, equal round shapes I'm going to be using a bowl to like help me
I see being all rolled out that's the easy part it's important for the um, meat to be cold before you fill it in because this is made largely of butter and you don't want it melting up on you so I'm going to put a spoon into each one in the lower half so they all feel now it's time for me to close them so basically just carefully pull it a little and you can use a fork to push in the meat to stay in the middle and you put both hands together and that's why you don't want it to be too thin either because if it's too thin you wouldn't be able to pull it up or to push it and you use the fork as well to close the edges Once it's on the tray, you mix some egg and use it to brush up the pie so you get the golden brown color which we all love. So it's all done. I've rubbed the egg on it and the oven is preheated at 175 degrees. So I'm just going to put it in and we're going to bake for like 30 minutes and check on it. We don't want it to be too hot because um, we want it to cook or bake evenly. Et voila! It's been 30 minutes and it's already done. If you can notice I forgot to rub one and it's not as brown as the other one so please don't forget your eggs. And that's that on the yummy pie. And that's what it looks within it's all ready and it's all warm and hot so i like to eat with some pepper on the side bon appetit i am hoping you enjoyed the video please like share subscribe you know the drill help me share as well and if there's anything you want me to do let me know until next time it's your girl Tiki. bye